In this tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to create a glass that looks the best when used with lumen without using ray tracing, both in interior and in exterior scenes. As you can see, I've created two glass master materials. They're exactly the same, except that one has the thin translucent material node and one has the absorption color material node. Right now, absorption color only works in default lit shading model, so we can't have it in the same material as the thin translucent node because we need to change its shading model to thin translucent. Absorption color is only supported with path tracer, so I will use the one with thin translucent in its name. Let me open the material. It is a very simple material as you can see. I've added some basic parameters, base color, metallic, specular, opacity, and IOR, and also some additional parameters for the UV and the roughness and normal textures. Down here is the thin translucent node to support the thin translucent shading model. On the left, blend mode is set to translucent, and shading model is set to default lit. Let's scroll down a little. The lighting mode is set to surface forward shading. This is the most accurate translucency lighting method and also the most expensive one. So you can pause the screen and create the same material as me or you can download my glass master materials from the link in the description. While there, you can also download my other free assets like my master material, my landscape material, alpha brushes and more. Also, subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the new Unreal Engine tutorials I'm planning to put here. Okay, after downloading the zip file, extract it, then copy everything from the content folder to the content folder of your project. In my case, I've already copied the files, so I'll skip it. Then go to HD, Materials, Masters. Here you can find the Glass Master materials. Right click on the one that has thin translucent in its name and select Create Material Instance. Let's move it to the test folder open a level to test the material on an object add a sphere to the scene assign the material instance to the sphere let me open the material IOR or index of refraction controls how light bends through a transparent medium. For example, if I change it to 1, you'll see that there is no change in what we see through the glass sphere and it's as if the sphere has disappeared. The IOR of typical glass is 1.52. I'll put the link to the refraction page on the Unreal documentation in the description. If I select the post process volume and go to the translucency section, you're gonna see that translucency is set to raster. Right now, using raster, we can't achieve accurate translucency like with path tracing and ray tracing. So either use ray tracing for your translucency or if you wanna go with raster, change the IOR to 1. Add a little bit of opacity to see the glass sphere. In order to achieve better reflections, select your post-process volume. Go to Reflections, Lumen Reflections, and enable high-quality translucency reflections. Change the metallic, opacity, and specular parameters to achieve the look you want. Down here, we have the base color and the thin translucent color parameters. Using the base color, you can add the desired tint to your glass. But in order to make use of the thin translucent color parameter, you first have to scroll down and change the shading model from default lit to thin translucent. So let's duplicate the material and also the sphere. Assign the new material to the new sphere. Now change the shading model in the new material to thin translucent and you're gonna see that the reflections will look much better with this shading model. I personally prefer to go with the thin translucent shading model when using lumen and raster translucency. You can also change the opacity to zero and you'll still get the reflection in contrast to the default lit shading model that we had to increase the opacity to see the glass. Let's go to the roughness section. Enable and increase the roughness intensity and you'll see that it will change the look of the reflections on the sphere. High quality 
Reality Translucency Reflections is currently restricted to mirror-only reflections in the 5.1 version. But in the 5.2 version, it supports material roughness. That's why roughness only affects the light reflections and not the environment reflections. Enable the roughness texture and assign a perlin noise to it. And you can play with roughness parameters to achieve the look you want. If I set the roughness intensity to 0, it becomes a normal clean glass. 0 cancels out all the other options. And as we increase it, we can see the roughness texture more. Roughness power affects the contrast of the roughness texture. As we increase it, the contrast in the texture increases. Roughness texture amount controls the opacity of the roughness texture. So if I decrease it, you can see that its effect becomes less and as I increase it, its effect becomes more. Before moving on to the normal parameters, I want to ask you to subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the future Unreal Engine tutorials I'm planning to put here. Also, the link to my other socials is in the description. Follow me and you can ask me if you have any questions regarding Unreal Engine. And don't forget to tag me on your post if you create anything watching my tutorials or using my free assets. I'll be happy to see them. Okay, copy the sphere and the material again. Let's open the new material, assign the new material to the new sphere, set roughness intensity to 0 and activate the normal texture parameter. Assign a normal texture from the starter content. And you can control its effect with the normal strength parameter. Up here we have the global UV parameters and what they do is control the UV of all the textures. I can change the size of the roughness and normal textures. Move them with the offset parameter and rotate them with the rotation parameter. But what if I want to control the UV of the roughness or the normal texture individually? On the top of the roughness and the normal section, we have the use roughness UV and the use normal UV parameters. And if we enable them, we can see that we'll have a set of UV parameters specific to that section. So for example with this one, I can control the location, rotation and the size of the roughness texture only, without it affecting the normal texture. And with these ones, I'll be able to control the normal texture UV without affecting the roughness texture. For example, if we make the normal texture size small and change the IOR to 1.52, we can create frosted glass by increasing the normal strength parameter. So that's it for this video, thanks everyone so much for watching, I hope you guys enjoyed it and I hope it's been helpful. Make sure to like and subscribe to the channel. If you have any questions, comments or concerns, feel free to leave them in the comment section below. Now with all of that being said, I'll see you in the next one.